What is SAP 2000 Structures Design Software Used For? SAP 2000 has a single interface for modeling analysis, design, and reporting. The SAP 2000 interface can be changed by users. They can change the layout of windows and toolbars. Engineers can choose from a lot of different ways to make meshes in SAP 2000 when it comes to meshes. Mesh features that are worth noting include the ability to combine independently defined meshes between frame, shell and solid objects, synchronize tessellation with object orientation and look at material boundaries to figure out the best aspect ratios. History of SAP 2000 Structures Design Software General purpose civil engineering software called SAP 2000 can be used to look at and design any kind of structural system. Modeling, analyzing, designing and optimizing basic and complex systems of all kinds from 2D to 3D and simple to complex can be done in a practical and instinctive object-based modeling environment that makes the engineering process easier and faster. The Sapphire analysis that comes with SAP 2000 is used to run complex finite element analysis. An extra set of advanced analysis tools are available to users who want to use state-of-the-art practices with non-linear and dynamic considerations. SAP 2000 was made by engineers for efficient engineering. It's the best software tool for anyone who wants to design any kind of structural system. Integrated modeling templates, advanced analysis options, code base loading assignments, design optimization procedures and customizable output reports all work together on a powerful platform to make SAP 2000 a great tool for professionals who work in the field. SAP 2000 is also a great way to learn. Open SAP 2000 and watch the watch and learn videos to learn how to use the software and how structural engineers think and work. How to learn and operate SAP 2000 structures design software. The use of software has made the analysis and design of structures a lot easier, and there is no doubt about it. But to use software, you need to know a lot about the engineering concepts that make the software work. There are some basic assumptions and considerations that have to be known in order to understand how software is made. The consequences of not knowing the basic engineering principles can be very bad. Devastation as a result when we use commercial engineering software, we have to think very carefully about both the good and bad things about it. Software that has more flaws than other software though they are usually similar in basic principles, they are not always the same. Comparison processes need to take a very close look at how each piece of software is used and how it fits into the whole picture. Commercial software is becoming more and more competitive because it has a lot more features than before. In the past, SAP 2000 has been known as the best software for structural analysis. Analytical methods have been used for more than 40 years. He started the company in 1975. Ashraf is now CEO. CSI Computers and Structures Incorporated is known all over the world for making software tools. It is used to look at and design civil structures. There are a lot of structural engineering companies that use CSI products. Each of CC's programs is tailored to a specific type of structure, which allows the engineering to be more specific. It can be used to protect civil structures such as bridges and dams. It can also be used to protect industrial structures and buildings. Since then, ADABS has been around. Multi-story buildings, like office buildings, apartments and hospitals are the focus of this project. The SAFE system can be used to look at and design concrete slabs and foundations online learning platform to learn SAP 2000 software. We at gclab.com also provide a comprehensive course of SAP 2000 course. The first module covers SAP 2000 introduction, also covers a brief overview of the position of column, beam and center line of the plan layout. The second module briefs about building plans and elevation, beam secondary beams, etc. The third module explains the computation of dead load, live load, etc. The fourth module explains the calculation of earthquake load, wind load, and computation of several load combinations. The fifth module covers the explanation of deformation, analysis of structure, and structure displacement. The sixth module explains the analysis of structure, explanation of bending moment shear force, and 2-2, 3-3. The seventh module explains the analysis of axial force, torsion, support reaction, etc. The 8th module explains the design of columns, beams and slabs. The 9th module explains the optimization of the structure. The 10th module explains the introduction to the warehouse shed, 
modeling of the shed, and modeling of numerous parts of the steel structure. The 11th module explains the computation and assignment of the dead load and live loads. The latest version of SAP 2000 Structures Design Software. CSI SAP 2000 is the latest version SAP Structure Design Software. What is the difference between SAP 2000 and ADABS? The advantage that ADABS over the SAP 2000 is that it has highly advanced calculation algorithms which are implemented to analyze any complex high-rise structure with minimum resources. Which is better SAP 2000 versus StatPro? SAP 2000 provides a more accurate design as compared to StatPro. I hope the video provides you with adequate knowledge of SAP 2000 structure design software and its benefits. Please feel free to like, share, and comment.